Peter, are you still at work? I need to talk to you for a minute. I can't take it anymore. I'm at work. What do you think you're doing? Don't interrupt me. Your mother called again. So what? She was asking about when we are going to have a baby every single day. I've had enough of this. She's driving me crazy. Just ignore her, okay? You're the one who's overreacting. It's just a phone call anyway. She keeps calling until I pick up the phone. I can't ignore her. The other day, you said you were going to tell her to stop, didn't you? If you care so much, why don't you tell my mom directly? Of course I did. I told her that my husband doesn't want to have children. Even if I told her that, she said that I was blaming you. She keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Well, it can't be helped. Huh? Peter, we haven't talked about having children ever since we got married. I told you multiple times that I want kids, didn't I? I still want more time to myself. I'm not ready yet to spend time for the kids. I'm too busy with work and I don't have the time or money to raise a child. So you should give up already. I've given up on having kids since you yelled at me to stop talking about that. I don't want kids anymore, but instead, I want you to do something about your mother. She calls me every single day. I'm really stressed out and I don't know what to do. I'll tell her next time. Stop nagging me about this, okay? It's normal for a mother-in-law to annoy her daughter-in-law. Don't make a fuss just because she annoyed you a little. Of course it's not normal. Besides, you're my husband, so you have to protect your wife. You have become a pain in the ass since we got married. I married you because I liked your sassiness. I think we should get a divorce. That's my line. Before we got married, you were a kind man who cared about me. After we got married, you became a different person. You won't even look me in the eye. I used to love you, but now you scare me. I don't know. The moment we got married, the whole idea of marriage became a burden to me. When you proposed to me, you said you would make me happy forever. I realized after we entered the marriage that you weren't as attractive as I thought you were, so I couldn't do anything about it. Then why do you have to wait for two years to say that? If you had divorced me right away, you and I wouldn't have to go through all this pain. Everyone around me is getting married, and if I'm the only one getting divorced so fast, I'd be a laughing stock. I decided to stay married to you only as a formality. I'm amazed that you've made it this far just because of that. I admire your guts. By the way, there's something I've been thinking about and I haven't told you. What is it? You're cheating on me. I've witnessed it many times and I have proof. There's no way you can get away with it now. How the heck did you find out about that? But from the perspective of our marriage, this isn't cheating or anything. We were just a married couple with a mask of formality, and we didn't love each other at all on the inside. It's rather normal for the husband to have a mistress outside marriage. Since the divorce is on the table, I thought I'd tell you now. Are you planning to get a divorce and take all the alimony from me? Well, that's the short answer. I don't want to have a divorce without having any compensation paid to me. You and your mother have put me through a lot of trouble. I'll pay you whatever alimony you want. It's a small price to pay to get away from you. You think you're the only one who wants a divorce? I'm telling you, I'm at my wit's end. I see. Maybe you're having an affair too. You're gonna leave me and be with the guy you're cheating with, right? Don't insult me. 
No matter how hard our marriage is, as long as I'm your wife, I'm never going to cheat on you. I'm not like you. Before we got married, you said a lot about how you wanted to have kids with me. Once we got married, I changed my mind. Why don't you have a baby with the next person you marry? I'll send you a baby gift, a wedding gift, whatever you want. You better not forget your own words. I won't forget it, though. You're so attached to money, aren't you? It's scary. I have to take exactly what I can get. I'll also charge your mother for alimony for all the harassment-related things she did to me. If I could get a divorce from you, I'd give you as much money as you want. Then I'll consult with a lawyer and send you a written agreement. Yeah, go on. The divorce was finalized that day. I started by asking for alimony, and I asked my ex-husband for everything I could claim. I even got him to sign it, and we had an agreement. The problem is that I still can't cut ties with him since we're still dealing with the money. I have decided to take what I can get until he runs out of money. Since I will never hear from my ex-husband's mother sneering at me again, I'm sure that I can sleep peacefully every day from now on. Your mother called me all the way. She told me that after our divorce, you were remarried right away and had a child. Your mother must be out of her mind to even contact me just to tell me that. Oh, come on. Are you jealous? Thanks to our divorce, I've got a beautiful wife and a baby. So, can you stop charging me the alimony and other things? You can't do that. You've already signed the papers, so that would be a breach of contract. It's not a breach of contract if you can work it out with your lawyer. Just say we're settled. Absolutely not. I'm not backing down from this deal. You're going to pay me what you promised me at all costs. Well, I know that you'll never remarry and you'll never have kids anyway. All you can do is to watch me living my happy life while being jealous for what I have. Can you please stop judging my life? And for that matter, why don't you do something about your mother? I don't give a shit. I'm taking care of my pregnant wife, so I can't be worrying about you. Tell your mother not to contact me since we're already divorced. No matter what I told her, she keep telling me that the only mistake in her life was to let her son get married to me. I thought I was free after the divorce, but this is no different. She's correct, isn't she? It's your fault for not trying to make her fond of you. My new wife comes over to my parents' house whenever she gets a chance and tries to get to know my mom better. Don't just complain about someone who's working hard. I always said I wanted to go home to your parents' house on the weekends to spend more time with your family, didn't I? But you always said that no one would be home, so I couldn't go. Don't make it sound like it's my fault. No, it's your fault. You should have gone on a weekday during the day. I can't. I have work on weekday. You just hated me. Our relationship is over. I don't care what you're talking about. Anyway, I really need you to do something about it because I'm getting more than 20 incoming calls from your mother while I'm at work. It's bad for my mental health and it's affecting my work too. My mom is very fond of my new wife. She'll forget all about you sooner or later. That's not the point. We're already divorced, so it's not right for your mother to keep contacting me. I've taken care of you all this time, so don't be selfish. Just put up with it, okay? You're still the same gutless son of a bitch, aren't you? You can say things like that because you don't know anything. I'm going to block her from now on. 
Why don't you just do that from the start? Even if she was a nasty mother-in-law, she was my family, so I can't do that easily. But I've had enough. Suit yourself. You'll have to think about reducing the amount of alimony again. I'm not going to reduce it. You have to pay it since you were having an affair. I'll never forgive you until you pay everything. Don't talk to me like that. All right, I'll pay you the amount you want. Yes, you just have to do what you're responsible for. You knew about that, didn't you? Knew what? That my wife was your friend. I knew. I introduced her to you so many times, but you don't remember anything. By the way, even then, you kept saying how pretty she was. I'm amazed that your taste in women hasn't changed at all. I've been wanting to talk to you about something else. Don't ask me for advice. I don't even know you anymore. I just want to ask you one thing. What's that? Yesterday, my wife confessed to me that the baby she's carrying is not mine. I know. Seriously? If you'd done the math in the first place, you'd know that right away. Were you so blinded by your immediate happiness that you couldn't see what was going on around you? If my mother know about this, she'd be furious. What should I do? Huh? Why are you asking me? Why don't you think about that yourself? I don't want the divorce even if I find out the child is not mine. I care about my wife. Then you'll just have to be honest and say so. I don't care what you two have to say. Don't contact me anymore. Hold on a sec. I need to talk to you. Is there more? My wife's pregnant, so I'm taking more days off at work. Plus, we're going to have to pay for the baby, so I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a break from paying the alimony. I can't do that. You've got to think about us, you know. I know that I shouldn't ask for this, but you'd feel sorry for me if I put that burden on my pregnant wife and kids, wouldn't you? You did a bad thing by cheating on me, so you have to be punished. Your punishment is to pay the alimony. Do you understand, Peter? It doesn't matter what your family does. You're the one who has to take responsibility. If you're going to ask for advice, it's appropriate to ask your wife, not me. Sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've done, and I really am. But I'd like you to put an end to the alimony once and for all. After the baby is born and things settle down, I will personally pay you alimony every month. I don't trust you anymore. I'm not going to give in on the alimony and I don't want you to contact me again. If you want to talk about it, you'll have to talk to my lawyer. What the hell? I'm asking you a favor. No matter how much you ask, my feelings will not be swayed. You're jealous because I had a baby with another woman, right? And just because it's with your own friend. Well, it's not your child anyway. Gosh. It's time for you to see the reality. My current wife is beautiful and she loves me, so I can forgive whatever she does to me. She's married to me now, so the child she's carrying is definitely mine. As long as my mom doesn't find out, we'll be fine. I'm sure she'll find out sooner or later. Well, I'm not going to stop charging you for the alimony, so goodbye. Hey, pick up the phone. What? Can you please stop calling me? Don't be so cold. I can't live like this anymore. Help me. Huh? Don't ask me for help. Since the baby was born, there have been days when she doesn't come home. 
I thought something was wrong, but she was cheating on me. So what? We're still friends, right? Do something about it. You told me that you can forgive whatever she does to you because she's beautiful and she loves you, didn't you? You should at least forgive her for cheating on you. You've done it yourself in the past. I can't live like this every day. Besides, the baby is not related to me. You're married to your new wife now, so I'm pretty sure the child you're carrying is yours. You said this too, right? I did say that, but I can't stand it anymore. Don't you feel sorry for me? Why don't we start over? Excuse me? No way! Don't you see the reality yet? If you give me another chance, I'll be a good husband. I'll have kids with you, and I'll make sure to tell my mom not to harass you. Please! Okay, I'll just say it now. I got remarried. Oh, really? Yes, it's true. I have no doubt that your husband doesn't want to have kids anyway, so you'll be sad again. If you came back to me, I won't make you sad ever again. I've got a baby now. I'm three months pregnant. Oh no. So, I should get a congratulatory gift from you, right? You said you'd give it to me when we got divorced. I haven't forgot about that yet. You're kidding. I know I've been disrespected by you a lot in the past, but I'm definitely happier now. My new husband doesn't cheat on me. He comes home straight after work every night. He values family time. On his days off, he always takes me out on dates. He's a wonderful husband. I'm confident I can make you happier. So come back to me. I won't trust you. Your life right now is the result of that. I can't give up the baby easily. And if we get divorced, I'll still have to pay child support. That's none of my business. I'll pay the rest of the alimony and the celebratory money in a lump sum in the future. So please, let me off the hook for now. Please, I beg you. No matter how hard you beg me by texting, it's useless. I've told you repeatedly that I can't do it, and you keep pestering me like crazy. Seems that you're not sorry at all for what you've done to me. No, I'm really sorry for what I've done to you in the past. So next time, let me go apologize in person along with my mom. I'll get down on my knees or whatever. Ugh, I don't even want to see your face, so don't come. I've been thinking about what I did wrong for a while now, so let me apologize. I want you to see that I'm really sorry. I'm so happy right now. I'm starting to forget about you. So can you please not remind me of any more bad memories? The money part hasn't been cut off though. So I just want to get it all paid off. And for that reason, I don't want to stop charging you. Is that husband of yours really a good guy? Maybe he's actually cheating on you. Think about who can really make you happy. What are you talking so high and mighty about? The person who can really make you happy, at least, is not you. You are the worst man I've ever seen. That will change from now on. Because I've already forgotten what I've done. No, you're not allowed to forget what you've done just like that. You'll never forget and you'll live with remorse and regret for the rest of your life. I thought I'd never forget what you've done to me, but it seems that I was wrong. Now, I'm too happy that I can forget everything happened in the past. So don't ever contact me directly again. No, wait. Are you sure you won't remember me again? You're not even thinking about it. Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. I have a nice, kind, and faithful husband. I actually still love you, you know. Don't say that. Why don't you live happily with your beautiful wife who loves you and your child? Well, goodbye. Wait, I'm not done talking yet. Please, forgive me. I spoke through my lawyer, and Peter honestly paid the rest of the alimony, 
and even congratulatory money. It seems that his mother also found out that the child isn't his and his wife was cheating on him. In the end, Peter filed a divorce with his wife. I'm glad that I chose my current husband and I'm also blessed with a child now. I think that I'm the happiest person in the world.